welcome back to this week's Hawk Talk. Episode 8. I'm, I'm Karma. I'm Arthur. Lindley. And Kaden. What are we doing this week? This week we're talking about what we're going to achieve by the end of the year. I'm Sienna. I'm Riley. And I'm Bo. Let's go. What do you want to accomplish by the end of the year? Um, being better as math. Hello, I'm Kaden, and today we're here with... Arlene. Arlene, what do you want to achieve for the fourth quarter? Um, I would like to achieve getting good goals for um, math testing. Yeah, what, um, like math, reading, science, which one do you want to hit hard? Um, I would really like it if I did it on all of them because I really want good grades. What do you want to get better at by the end of the school year? Spelling. Why spelling? Because it's kind of hard for me, and whenever I try to spell it out, it just makes no sense. By the end of school, you're getting my bad grades to a good grade. Cool. I'm here with Aria from Kindergarten. Hey, Aria, what do you still want to learn before school is over? I want to learn to read better. That's really cool. So Wyatt, what do you want to achieve by the end of the school year? Getting a good grade on my math test. Cool. I'm here with John for third grade. Hey John, what do you want to achieve by the end of the school year? 90 AR points. Can you explain that? So AR points are basically whenever you read a book, you can do a test and you get points. That sounds really cool. Hope you get that goal. Thank you. Chase, what do you want to achieve by the end of the school year? I get 100% on the math test. Super cool. I'm here with Bella from kindergarten. Hey Bella, what do you still want to learn before school is over? Writing because we haven't been doing writing since spring break. So what do you want to learn by the end of school? I want to learn about science. Hi, I'm here with Kelsey. Kelsey, what do you want to accomplish by the end of the year? Reading more. Why? Because it's a good habit. Thank you. You're welcome. Today I'm with Emma, and she's going to tell me what do you want to learn before school is over? To get higher reading and math scores. Today I am with Layton, and Layton, what is something you want to learn when before your school year is over? Um, I want to get better at reading and math and get higher scores. Hi, I'm here with Everett. Everett, what do you want to achieve by the end of the year? Straight A's. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Reed. Reed, what do you want to accomplish by the end of the year? I want to be a straight A student. Thank you. Today I'm with Olivia and she is going to tell me what she wants to accomplish by the end of the year. Of uh, getting better at writing. Why? To make it neater. Today I'm with Derek and what do you want to accomplish by the end of the school year? I want to get 500 A. Hi, I'm Sienna. And I'm Lindley. And we're here at Noel. Noel, can you tell us what you're doing in science? Um, so what we're doing is we're planting some, we're planting beans, and uh, the beans are gonna sprout, and but we don't know if they're gonna sprout yet because they're gonna. We're making guesses on our iPads to tell us um, how much days they're gonna be growing. That sounds really cool. Thank you. I'm here with Miss Fennewald, and what is some? Why do you want? to be a parent at the school? I like being a parent at this school because I can work with kindergartners all the way up to fifth grade. And my favorite thing to do is work in the library with them. Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Cofer. Ms. Cofer, what do you like about being a parent at Hawk Point Elementary? My favorite thing about being a parent is working with all the kids. I've made so many friends with all the students here and I look forward to coming and seeing you guys every day. Thank you. Thank you. Also have our fifth grade.
grade field trip to the art museum on April 4th and we um, are also doing another field trip through third through fifth grade um, and it is on April 6th. Also, we have the PTO meeting on the 6th. Hi, I'm Kaden. And I'm Arthur. For upcoming events, we are off for Easter break two days, April 7th, that Friday, and through April 10th. Reynolds. Miss Reynolds, what's your favorite school lunch? My favorite school lunch is nachos. Nachos are delicious. Hi, I'm here with Miss Clark. So, Miss Clark, what is your favorite school lunch? Sweet and sour chicken. It is mm, delicious. Oh, they Today I am with Miss Cox, and what is your favorite school lunch? Nachos. I love that. <laughs> They're delicious. I know. So today I am with Miss Johnson and Hi. what is your favorite school lunch? My favorite school lunch is Wednesdays because I love the soft tacos with the salsa and lettuce. Mm, that sounds good. Favorite. Hi, I'm here with Miss Coper. Miss Coper, what's your favorite school lunch? Oh, there's so many good things to choose from, but I think my favorite would have to be nachos with lots of sour cream. I'm with Miss Thornhill and she's going to tell me what her favorite school lunch is. My favorite school lunch is Chicken Nugget Tuesday because Chicken Nugget Tuesday has been around since I was in elementary school when it was Troy Primary. They have not given up on Chicken Nugget Tuesday since I was in elementary school. It's like a tradition. I love wow, it. Wow, I can't believe that. Yeah. Do you Thank eat chicken nuggets? You. Yes. Do you dip them in your mashed potatoes? No. That's what I do. I like ketchup. Ketchup, mashed potatoes separate. Mm -hmm. Today I am with Ms. Hazel, and what is your favorite school lunch at school? Oh goodness, I would say my favorite school lunch is probably chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes. Ooh, I like good. dipping the chicken nuggets in the mashed potatoes. Yeah, it sounds real good. Please put your first and last name along with your teacher's name on the front of this envelope. Second thing I'd like you to do is put this envelope in a backpack or a folder. Take this home and share. Like and subscribe.